What's going on, y'all? My name is Damien, and welcome to my YouTube channel, where I basically talk about DevSecOps, cloud security, and anything related to cybersecurity and offer career advice in those domains. And in today's video, I'm basically going to be covering the best free cybersecurity roadmap that they got out there. And if you're a beginner who's watching this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can navigate this roadmap to learn some of the essentials to help you get a job within cybersecurity. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right. So before we get into the cybersecurity roadmap, I want to quickly go over where this information is going to come from. So if you haven't heard about roadmap.sh4, it's basically this website and this project that's basically open source, I believe, that contains a bunch of other roadmaps that have been developed and created by the community for helping people learn the essential skills that they need to get a job in a specific tech profession. If you want to be a front end engineer, there's a roadmap for that. Back end, DevOps, cybersecurity, you name it, they have it. And when I tell you that they go into detail in each one of these roadmaps, you can see there's a long laundry list of all the various different roadmaps that they have. Um, and this resource here is free. Right. You can go here, you can log into their website and you can basically go through these roadmaps and track your progress for free to learn the essential skills that you actually need to know. As you can see here, the person who created this project or who really runs it, his name is Kamran and he's a full stack developer based out of the UK. Make sure y'all give this man his flowers for even putting together something like this in the first place. And these are the list of contributors that have contributed to this project and contributed the roadmap. So there's so many different SMEs that contribute to this project that keeps it going and keeps it alive. Even if you look at the commit history, you can see that the most recent commit was two weeks ago. So this project is actively maintained and there is well over 300,000 stars on GitHub. So it is definitely a recommended source for all types of roadmaps. All right, so now that you guys have a foundational understanding of what roadmap.sh is and how valuable this project is, let's talk through this cybersecurity expert roadmap. All right, so I'm just going to say it outright. This is like very well thought out and it pretty much touches on a lot of the things that you're going to end up having to know or that you'll come across. So. What I'm going to do first is I'm just going to talk through each one of these points and just tell you why it's important. All right. So starting with fundamental IT skills first. So before you even get into cybersecurity and start thinking about anything related, you got to understand what a computer is. And of course, you got to understand the computers, the basics of computer networking and computer hardware components, right? You got to know all of these various different things, but the ones that are really, that are color coded like this one here are the ones that I emphasize some importance on because you will end up seeing it as you start to progress as a cybersecurity professional with networking being the foundation of cybersecurity in my personal opinion, right? And what I've seen since I've been in the industry for quite some time, if you don't know networking, you're not really going to know how to truly secure something. So start off at the foundational level or the fundamental level, get the IT skills, Learn how to troubleshoot computer hardware and learn how to fix things on your computer and you'll be A-OK. -okay. When it comes down to certifications, you don't necessarily need to come to your A+. Plus. Linux Plus is really good because you're going to be doing a lot with Linux and cybersecurity. And Network Plus gives you that foundation, that networking foundation, which needs to be solid before you can pursue the and bag the Security Plus, which is pretty much the foundational an entry-level cybersecurity certification that I have received in the past and it helped transform my career. And if this is something that you're looking in get, to get into, I highly recommend just getting the certification. As far as any of the advanced certifications are concerned, these are all kind of specialty certifications in my personal opinion. And I'm not really going to talk about them too much by going over this roadmap, but it's good that they have all these here because some of these like the CEH and the OSCP are really specific to penetration testers or people who want to go down that route and become like serial red teamers or penetration testers slash hackers. All right. Fundamental IC skills are super important. And after you, we get past this point, you cover some of those, then you got to absolutely know operating systems. So 
You got to know what the difference is between Linux, Windows, and Mac OS is. And you got to learn the following things here. I would say I highlighted Windows and Linux because those are the two that are very common. And those are the ones that you're probably going to end up debugging and using and eventually probably running tools on them. So definitely, I would say if any out of these three operating systems, Linux is probably going to be the most important. So learn Linux for sure. Learn Linux, learn Linux, learn Linux. I can't stress enough. And then learning how to navigate GUI and CLI. CLI is going to be important. Learning that, understanding how permissions work in Linux and Windows is perfect. And then troubleshooting and common commands. I looked through each one of these and I saw that like those are the ones that I would really recommend you guys who are beginners definitely pay close attention to. And once you've gone through all of these, then you get into the networking knowledge. And networking is, like I said, it's really, really important. And if you take the network plus, you're pretty much going to cover a lot of these concepts from a networking standpoint. So you're going to definitely learn what the OSI model is and the TCP IP model, common ports and protocols. You're going to learn the difference between HTTP, HTTPS, SSL, and TLS basics. You're going to learn a lot of these different things. And these are the things that you're really going to have to focus on too. The ones that I've listed here, or not listed, but color-coded, again, are the ones that you're probably going to really need to understand. Because from a security perspective, a lot of the different things and attacks come over the wire, right? Over the network. So you got to understand how they all work and how that happens in the first place, right? So understanding DNS, DACP, the terminology, what's the difference between a router and a switch? All of that's very, very important. Virtual box, it's a virtualization thing. So if you're going to end up creating your own home lab at some point, virtual box is free for the most part, and you can pretty much run a oh, operating system on top of your operating system, which is basically virtualization, right? And you're going to learn a couple of some basics about virtualization, which I color coded here and port scanners, something that basically checks to see if a port is open or not. And then authentication methodologies is super important. This probably should have been somewhere in the security skills and knowledge section, but Learning the different types of authentication and authorization methodologies is really important. You will absolutely see LDAP and SSO quite a bit as well as certificates. So check into those, review those, look at those, learn those, right? So understand that a lot of these things that I've highlighted in the networking knowledge section is really important. Definitely take a look at those and understand the concepts and theories. And then once we get past that part, then the security knowledge or security skills and knowledge section, I just highlight the whole thing. So this is pretty much a very, very, very important part of it, right? Because this is pretty much all the security skills and knowledge that you have to understand. There's a lot of concepts. Cybersecurity is a very broad field. And when you're a beginner, you're going to end up getting exposed to a lot of these various different terms and concepts quite a bit. Right. You're going to want to and you're going to want to immerse yourself into them because ultimately when you get your job and you start to transcend or move up in your career, it's going to become vital that you have a solid foundation because you're going to build on top of it. Right. It's just going to be plenty of layers of abstraction. So these are literally like I would say all the core concepts and basics, everything here you want to know, you want to learn, you want to understand it. If I'm being honest with you, everything inside of this skill section, you definitely want to know and understand at some point, at some level, right? It doesn't have to be exceptionally deep, but you have to have an understanding of it. So when it comes down to understanding, once you understand risk and see concepts like zero trust, common hacking tools and all those stuff, different things like that, web-based attacks, then you can start looking at attack types and differences, common attacks. And then from there, you can start to branch off. And what I mean by branching off is, okay, you're not going to know everything, right? No one's going to know every single thing in cybersecurity. But when you decide what you want to specialize in in cybersecurity, like earlier I mentioned, there are, they added certifications for hackers, right? Or web applications of pen penetration testers. Those types of specialty jobs, right? Different focuses, focus points. That's where you're actually going to 
specialize into a certain field. So there's a certain domain that you're going to want to truly know and understand. So let's take penetration testing for an example, right? If you are someone who needs to understand penetration testing, you're definitely going to want to understand all the various different attacks. Yes. And then you're going to want to understand the different types of distros that they use for hacking, like Kali Linux, and understand these different frameworks like Miter Attack and Kill Chain, because all those different types of things are going to help you become a better penetration tester on top of knowing the fundamentals and the foundational security concepts and knowledge. So that is pretty much how I would recommend you guys navigate through this and learn as much and soak up as much as possible. But the things that is really going to set you apart is getting the certifications right on top of learning these concepts and actually putting them to work by practicing them by creating a home lab or spinning up a virtual box image and attempting to hack it using Kali Linux, things like that. You got to get a little creative. All right. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that in this section, they also, what I love about it is that they also have resources for understanding your audience, like stakeholders, compliance, management, legal, HR, because in a lot of cases as a cybersecurity professional, you're going to end up having to interact with them. So I would highly recommend looking into some of these resources and just read some of the articles and really understanding what type of, of impact your audience is going to have when you're in cybersecurity. All right. On top of some of these other concepts, just soak up this entire thing. That's all I'm going to say. Just soak this entire thing up. Now, moving on to Klaus skills and knowledge and programming skills. So I'm going to come to programming skills and I'm going to say this as a cybersecurity professional, Nine times out of 10, you're going to end up having the script or code. So if I had to recommend a programming language to learn, it would be Python. Otherwise, Bash and PowerShell will definitely do. So just keep that in mind. And the beautiful thing is they also give you free resources, which is awesome. So that's also something to keep in mind when you are going through this roadmap. All right, coming back to cloud skills and knowledge. So if you're trying to become a cybersecurity professional, but you want to be in the cloud, then you definitely got to understand what the cloud is and some of the concepts. I absolutely love how they have this laid out and some of the common cloud models and understanding these services. So I say, Rick, I highlighted all of these because these are the ones that I totally recommend you take a look at. And then when it comes to like common cloud storage and stuff like that, in a lot of cases, you'll end up learning about them when you get involved in those environments, right? So that's just something to keep in mind. AWS, I highlighted because I'm biased and I'm an AWS community builder, but I also think that AWS has the best community and resources out there to help you upskill. So if you're looking for a cloud service provider to specialize in, take a look at AWS and go get some certifications. Certified security specialty, AWS certified security specialty certification. That's the one that you would want to bag if you want to be a cloud security engineer. So the one thing I want to mention is that they do give y'all like free resources when you click on each one of these things, right? So you get an article, you may get a video, you may get a, a course, right? And some of those courses, they may have a paid course that you may have to pay for. But in a lot of cases, roadmap.sh does prioritize free resources over the paid ones, I believe. And in this particular roadmap, I've seen a lot of free resources. So keep that in mind. A lot of the knowledge that you're going to see here, you're going to obtain is going to be free somewhere. So make sure that you just prioritize, you know what I'm saying? Clicking in one of these and learning the concepts and taking notes. But that's just one thing. All right. So as we come to a close, I want to mention one thing, and that is CTFs, right? If you're looking to become a red teamer or a penetration tester, I love how this roadmap really outlines where you need to go. So hack the box, try hack me, Vaughn hub, all of these resources, I believe are free. And what you can do is you can go here like hack the box, for example, and register, log in and learn how to actually hack servers, right? So you can see it's designed for security enthusiasts, penetration testers, and ethical hackers to develop and enhance their skills by engaging in real world cybersecurity challenges. So this is one place where you can go, you can get this taken care of. But most importantly, this entire roadmap has been so well thought out. It has all of the skills that you need to learn to become a well-rounded cybersecurity professional. Don't expect to get through this roadmap within a year. It's going to take some years, some time to get through this entire thing. 
But I can guarantee you that as you start to mature and matriculate in your career, after you get your first job as a, as a cybersecurity professional, entry level, I guarantee you, you're going to hit on or at least see all of the concepts and have touched or have worked with all the tools that are mentioned here. That wraps up this video, y'all. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you were able to walk away with some valuable insights and also some great advice, guidance on how to navigate this roadmap as a beginner. And if you're a cybersecurity professional who's already in the industry and you're looking at this, make sure you go look at this and bookmark this page too, because there's a lot of good content in here. So if you found this video helpful at all, make sure you like, subscribe, share with friends, and give me some feedback on this video. Let me know what you like and if you want to see more content like this. Links are in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.